All of a sudden, our number one notable player is Lethal Feline over top of Rip Dingers there. Very interesting. Tish Ballin getting up there. Grisha Chan may be losing his spot to her. Sub 500 team making it isn't there to win, but they're to humiliate everyone who is. Then, the way, then again, the way this game does, I'm sure it resets all the mojo. Um, there's a chance that they could win and uh, eliminate us. All right. The Green River Sirens going on the road again to London, England. <laughs> Whatever their theme is over there. Meow Bupkins. We'll be taking on the Royals. As you can see, their most notable player is Z Striker down there. 276 home runs. I mean, if it wasn't for Rip, which is a very big oddity on our team, I hope everybody understands that. Um... But we do have the difference between the sun and the moon on these pitchers. Meow Bupkins, a lefty who is uh, 5-0 and with a 1-2-6 ERA. Russell Clayton is 0-5 with an ERA at the moon. 9.12. That's like a thermometer reading. Yeah, Z is... Uh, I don't know what Z's been doing. He's been getting with Ella Royds, it looks like. We'll see what happens here. All right, there we're, well, Z is there. Oh my God, look at Z's stats. He's grown a little bit. It's like they put all of their points in the one player. What? He's ate all the fish and chips while he's been over in England. <laughs> oh, my Lord. They got Hieronymus Jackson and Guns Jackson. It's going to be a tougher game than it looks like. Uh, oh, we got a DH today. Um, lethal Chan Dingers Foul. Look, Swiner back in there. Figueroa. Yeah, that's pretty good. So Meow Bupkins doesn't even have to bat, so that's nice. All right. Oh, there. And one of the biggest oddities, very few teams share the same stadium, but yet the uh, Las Vegas Jacks and the London Royals do. So we're playing at the same exact stadium. Let's just uh, pretend that we're on the other side of the world uh, because England has some kind of Ferris wheel or something. I don't know. Lethal D feline, Grisha Chan, Rip Dingers leading off here for the Sirens. We're in London, England. Number 86. <laughs> Lethal, you're not allowed to use the gun thing here. They don't have those. They just have knife violence. Hard hit ground ball, but it's right to Gershwin Kemp, one away. Chan batting slightly under 400 now. Chan just a little early on that one. Pulls it foul. It's ball one. At late on that one, he goes the opposite way, so he'll fall to one and two. That's ground ball up the middle. Kemp not going to be able to make that throw. Had to bring up Rip Dingers, 463 average, 23 home runs, 43 ribbies. He add to it here across the pond. 
Hard hit, but no, it's going to get two on with one out, though. And to bring up Jess Fowl. She's dangerous as well. Been a pinch hitter most of the season. 393 average, three home runs, eight RBIs in case Lethal wants to jip. Uh, we always have her. Though so she's no lethal D feline, unfortunately. That is popped straight up. Infield fly. Two away. Buck Swiner coming back out. Took a couple days off. Hard hit. Grown Miss Jackson gonna hold the runners. So two on or two outs. Bases loaded for Figueroa. He knows how to knock in RBIs. The pressure mounting here on the Royals. Can the guard hold? They will right to Marshadonga. And that will take us to the bottom of the first. Z Striker leading off. Mashadonga and Heronius Jackson coming up behind. I'm not going to lie, I'm terrified of this at bat. Z is locked in. Got some uh, purple going on, it looks like. Hard hit. Ow. We will win the battle of the Z and the Bupkins. Ground ball. Dingers is there. Woo! One away. My man, my man, my man. Meow Bupkins holds firm. And she lets the very next batter get a big hit. It was actually a terrible pitch. And to bring up Hieronymus Jackson. 250 average, five home runs. Hard hit. That's going to put two on with one out. Now Bupkins now faces Guns Jackman. 266 average, five home runs. Oh, and that's going to maybe load the bases, or are they going to try for home, though? No. So the bases loaded, one out. Dorothy Lynn coming up. 300 hitter, essentially. Four home runs, 18 RBIs. Don't even know. One pitch. You can't you can't walk. Come on, meow. Hard hit. Fouled away. Full count pitch. Ground ball. Stokes has to go to first. They're gonna get a run. The Royal strike first. Faith McWallies. 239 average, two home runs. Runners on the on first, second and third now, excuse me. Under key, I'll do your drink in just a second. I just need to get me out to settle down a little bit here. Got her. That's exactly what we needed. The Royals do strike. And today's winning row is row F. Dish ball and Jesse Donovan, Annabella Stokes coming up here in the second. We haven't played from behind for a while. We are now. Dish ball and batting one over Stone Code Steve Austin. Mm, that's 100 miles per hour. Hard hit right up the middle, base hit. Here's Number Jesse Donovan. Jessica Donovan. Big ball one. 
Oh. Hard hit down the third baseline. That's going to be a base hit. So two on, no out here. Z throws it in. Got to bring up Annabella Stokes. She's batting 357. Much like lethal, no home runs, but a host of RBIs. One and one. Two and one to count now. That is pop up, shallow right field. And Dorothy Lynn has it. That'll bring up lethal with two on. That is not going to get through, but they'll only get one. Lethal gets the runner over to third. Grecian Chan comes up. Chan, a chance to tie the game here. How's that one off? Really worried about lethal. Oh, that drops. Oh, and Z makes an amazing catch. Oh, Z saves the run. We go to the bottom of the second. Goodwood, Kemp, and Luther West coming up for the London Royals. This team has a lot of good players on there. Like, oh, rip. Nicely done. I mean, they got a lot of power on their team. They've got a lot of building. I mean, I don't see why they're struggling. That is into the gap. That's going to be extra bases. Tish Ballin plays it off the wall. It is going to be a double. The runner in scoring position, Luther West coming up here. 250 average, two home runs, 10 RBIs. Definitely not getting calls. Dirty. Into pitch. Now batting the left fielder, number twenty-four. Up. Up. And that brings up Z. Walk Z. So base is loaded, one out. We need a double play ball. That is not a double play ball. That is the antithesis of a double play ball. Three runs score, and all of a sudden we are down four nothing. I blame the ump's call earlier. Meow Bupkins not having a good outing here in England. There she goes. Need more of that. Guns Jack, and he's already one for one today. Bad pitch. That's going to bring in another run. Five nothing. We uh, definitely didn't make the trip across the ocean, did we?
They are hitting everything. Everything that she's throwing up there. Ain't no way they anticipated that pitch. And Tish Ball it ends the bleeding. Wow. Four runs by the Royals makes it five nothing. Blame it on the jet lag. We gotta blame it on something. This is abysmal. Rip Dingers comes up here one for one already today. Here I was saying Russell Clayton. 90, but I think he put too much air underneath it. Now batting the designated hitter. Jess Foul 0 for 1. She's going to hit it into the gap. That's going to be a couple of bases. He's actually going for third. That could be bad. Nope, she's in there with a triple. But Buck Swiner can get one out there. That call. That will bring in a run. Buck Swiner gets an RBI. So 5-1. I'm glad to see that somebody on the team showed up. Number 10, Eduardo Figueroa. There may be another blue pit. Nope. Mm, Z's too fast out there and left. He covers a lot of ground. Had to bring up Tish Ballin. She's locked in. Six power missed it. Little chopper to third. West goes to first. That will take us to the bottom of the third. We get one. That proves we were at least here. Bottom of the order due up for the Royals. Goodwood, Kemp, and West. We had two outstanding games World War II fan, and then we went to England and we forgot how to play ball. Oops, nice catch there, one away. Here's Kemp, one for one at a double earlier. And that one's probably gonna be put on the board for the Royals. And Meow Bupkins just didn't bring her A game with her today. 415 feet, his first home run of the year, that's embarrassing. Yeah, she's completely rattled now. Oh. Oh. Damn ball, lethal will get that one. Here's Z. I know I should pull her, but I just. Yeah, we're going to have to now. Z with a base hit there. Meow Bupkins, just a terrible outing. It's not her day. Well, they got righty, 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 right. Okay, so lots of righties. Minor setback for a major comeback. Now pitching Elaine Munstar. Z stealing, and we're probably yeah, we're probably not gonna catch him. My God, that ball took off quick. Z's going home. Seven one. 
Z didn't just come to play, his whole team did. They're hitting everything. Woo! That was close. We finally get out of the third. They're dialing an international phone number right now. It's 142. Seven runs on 10 hits. Turn of the order coming up for us. Mama said there'd be days like this. Now batting the catcher, number 24, Jessica Donovan. Nah, I shouldn't have swung at that at all. That's all on me. Mama also told me not to swing at those. Oh, and five pitcher having best day. Oh, broken bat. Oh my heavens. Lethal comes to the plate, two outs. Down and Z catches the ball. Jackman, Lenny, and Gwally's do up here. Jackman already two for two today. Popped up. Swiner calls for it. One away. Dorothy Lynn. Ride the rip dingers. We'll take a whole bunch more of those. Nick Wally's 0 for 2 today. That's a terrible curveball. She didn't even bite. Get down the line, but it does drift foul. Got her on the fastball. Let's go. Lane Munstar giving us some hope today. Chan Dingers and foul coming up. If we can get something going between these three, I'll be happy. Chan teetering around the 400 mark batting. That one's hit hard, but I think he just missed it. No, it's going to drop, but he's only going to get one base on it as Jackson throws it in quickly. That will bring up Rip Dingers. One on, no out. Hard hit, but right to Jackson. The time I didn't put my cursor down too low, and it was low, low. Number 12. Yeah. I just keep shooting yeah. myself in the foot. This foul goes opposite field. Oh my heavens, that's going to be a double play. Oh my god. There's obviously teams out here playing to get into the playoffs. We're not one of them because we're in, but. Swiner runs and makes the play one out. No, I mean that that's this it's bound to happen ever so often. I 
I have no idea where that curveball was going. But that fastball's exactly where I wanted to throw it. Never a doubt in my mind. Oh and two now. Ooh, I thought that might have tickled the corner. You two bitch. Fouled off. That one's fouled off as well. My heavens. Now ball. Figaro is there. That to take us to the sixth. 7-1 still, Swiner, Figueroa, balling. We'll probably have some negative mood uh, things happen after this game. Swiner. Broken bat again. Is that like the third one today? Figueroa, big hit on that one. Oh, it's on. It's gone. Figueroa somehow catches the fastball. His first home run of the season makes it 7 2. How in the world? If bats didn't just, I'm kind of in shock. That's a hard hit ball in the center field. So the bats, maybe. That was just a straight up contact hit, too, for Figueroa. That was embarrassing. It's two out Stokes. There's a base hit. Runners on the corner, two outs. Z. Super arm out there. And that brings up Lethal with two outs, runners on the corners. Oh, and they're going to. They got Elena and Lantana. How is this team, like, not at the top? This is a loaded, loaded team. And of course, simulation, the game's pretty boring, but then when you play them in real, you see the real team. She's a K collector. Hunter goes. It's in the outfield. They're going to get a run on that one, so 7-3. And that's not going to get by. Donga stops it. Shoot. We do get another run back on the air. Oh, they didn't count it as an air somehow. Bottom of the sixth. It's 7-3. Z, Donga, and Jackson up. I'm really not sure how that wasn't an air. Z is just a little intimidating. Not going to lie. <laughs> oh, and Z knocks up some chalk. He's already heading the second and in there with a double. Two singles and a double, four RBIs already for Masha Donga. There's another RBI. Nope. All right, we're we're gonna have to change again. Bring in Knox now. Lola. 
knobs. That ball was so fast. Rip Dingers couldn't even put his arm out. 8-3 now. Good pitch. Good pitch, girl. Do it again. There you go. Dorothy Lynn, one for three today. Two. Two 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 pitch got her Knox. good roll world war two fan you got number one i need to go through there and re uh redo those quotes to where they all make sense one two pitch come on Round ball. Stokes should have it. She does. We'll get out of the sixth. They pick up another one. It's 8-3. Three. three innings to go. Chan, Dingers, and Jess Fowl coming up here. Let's see if we can get something going. It's been a rough one. If you want to get all the bad games out of your system... Chan trying to hit the gap, but I think Z may make that one. No. Jackson dives for it, but he's late. That is a leadoff double for the Sirens. It's a good start. Rip Dinger steps up. Come on, Rip. The ball had just enough spunk on it to mess that up. Jess foul. She had a triple earlier. I'd love for her to get another one of those. That ball was hit really well. Did Jess get enough of it? She did not. 8-3, two outs now. Runner still sitting at second. Buck Swiners, two for three today. And that's right at west at third. That's going to do it. We didn't get anything. Middle of the seventh. Goodwood, Kemp, and West. Lots of hits, but they are definitely getting more runs off of them. You take out that second inning, it's a real close game. But Meow Bupkins got beat up. And it looks like they're going to get a ninth one here. Goodwood's seventh of the year. We're just trying to survive to the end of this game. Problem is, it's going to beat our bullpen up.
Good pitch. And we're showing some moments of greatness. We just can't string anything together in this game like they have. Bad pitch. You should have creamed that one. <laughs> Just out of the reach of Figueroa. The computer would have got the magnet glove on that one. And here comes Z. He's got a single. He's got a double. Middle down. That was so low in the zone. The game just showed that it just randomly says stuff now. Come on, get Z. Can't get Z. Two on, one out here. Donga, she's four. She's definitely the MVP today. She has destroyed us. Three singles, a double. And add her another single. Five for five. Bases loaded for Jackson. Frozen! Like Elza. I don't know how we got that call of all calls in this game. The benevolent umpire was like, let's just let's just call it. Let's go get dinner. Come on. Pop up. We'll go to the eighth. They get another one. Figueroa ball and Donovan. Now batting at the shortstop, number 10, Eduardo Figueroa. Down. Here's a base hit. Now batting the center field, number 92, Tish Ballin. That's a double play ball. The old one, four, three. The I had to bring up Jesse Donovan. Jessica Donovan. There's another base hit. I mean, we're getting hits, but they're not, like I said, in sequence to bring anything in. Now batting the second baseman, number 29, Annabella Stowe. Now batting, Aubrielle Duffy. We'll put Duffy in because I like her hair. On the third base line, but West, who somehow knew to play in, gets that one. We'll head to the bottom of the eighth. Um, Knops maybe can go against one batter or so. Rip Dingers, routine throw to first, one away. Eighth McWallies, she's over four. I'm fully expecting a home run here. Oh, big row up, catches the line drive. Goodwood, he's got a home run today. His only one of the season. So the invasion of London didn't go that well, Pete. Oh my God, a two run shot there. That's Kemp second of the year. 
And the Royals have just dominated us all day today. Now pitching, Mark and Duck. I, I, let's just, Huck and Duck can be a sacrificial. That's probably going to fall, isn't it? Yeah, especially when he dives like that. That is a triple. It's the Royal Ride. And here comes Z up again. Can Huck and Duck be his kryptonite? Oh my God, they are just not even diving the right way. Another back-to-back -back triples, Thir 12 to three. Finally, trade them all. Oh, we go to the ninth, last chance for us. Lethal, 0 for four. We'll let Lethal just hit for power here. So close. That's like Lethal's best hit. Another leadoff double. We'll see what this leads to. Right field, number 17, Grecian Chan. Well, that may allow. That's going to allow both runners to get on. So two on. Here comes Rip Dingers. Number 90. They make a very big lots mistake here. That's going to load the bases. Jess foul. She does have a triple. A triple here would bring in three. That was just me being stupid. Same damn pitch. The left fielder, number 58. Buck Swiner. Man, if that could have stayed in the line. Oh, come on. All game like that. Oh, my Lord. Twenty one hits, twelve runs, no errors for the London Royals. Sixteen hits, three runs for us. Definitely our worst game we played all season. No, we had another one that was kinda like that. I mean we had hits all across I mean look at that. That was probably one of our best hitting performances ever. None of them were in sequence. And Figueroa, of all people, hit a home run. Z goes four for five, had an RBI, drew a walk, and he scored three times. The bottom of their order decimated us. Donga, five for six, four RBIs, scored twice herself. Meow Bupkins picks up her first loss of the season, gives up seven earned runs, nine hits, and two and two thirds. Munstar comes in, gives up one earned run, three hits, and two and a third. Knops, three runs, seven hits, and two and two thirds. Huck and Duck pitched a third, give up one earned run and two hits. Clayton picks up his first win of the season. In five and two thirds, give up three earned runs, 11 hits. Elena Lantana comes in, gets her third save of the season. How is Gershwin Kemp the MVP of that game? Oh, 
His two home runs were more valuable than her four RBIs. So he had his first and second home run against us. Uh, it's a save because I think she pitched over four innings. Or three innings. Yeah. I think that's how it works. Yeah, it's either it's got to be within like three runs or four. I don't remember exactly. Or you pitch so many innings. Hold on, I'll tell you. No more than three run lead. Pitch at least three innings. So it's got to be one or the other. There's also a third criteria that involves like who's on deck and stuff like that. But So you either get a save because you go in and you hold the door or you get a save because you go in and you, you stay there for an extended period of time. Maybe we need to unload. All right, it's so only 10 games to simulate. So London, oh, London's three games out. So they're trying to catch up to Prague. Good Lord, Texarkana just won 13 to nothing. Definitely holding that game lead. The Night Warriors lost a game they really needed for playoff. The Snow Foxes don't help out the Heaters one bit. The Bulls get a shocking win. They're 14th of the season. The Moose, they've already dumped like $12 million. San Juan Sandcats dominate the Geckos. San Juan trying to sneak into the playoffs with a negative 41 run difference. I don't even know what's going on right now. Jax. Overdogs trying to chase us. The Overdogs technically could catch us. Lima. Can Lima get a win? They cannot. The Laura Keats. They get a desperately needed win. We play the overdogs at the end of the season, so if they're within two games, they could flip our division, and we could be a wild card team. Hey, two viewer players, Rick Snyder and Monica Wembley down there for the Prague Moonstars. The Moonstars are a above 500 team. Let's see what we got. The Heaters sign... Ovita Pulo. They just went out and spent $21.6 million to get a starting pitcher for the playoffs. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, I'm not going to do the love stone. I don't want her to lose that elite court ball. Everything else is still active. Um, the Laura Keats are now in there with, uh, so Reavers team with a 500 record are in the playoffs. San Juan's a game back. The Royals are a half game back. So they were playing for playoff. They also really helped their, <clears throat> their run difference. As you see that, it's negative six now. So we have five games left. Um, no, the moose still said it. 
nine wins. Negative 70 run difference. All right, we're at home here. They've got Ethan Keller on the mound. He's two and four with a 5.97 ERA. We do have Air Lovestone, who's three and zero with a 2.30 ERA. Though I'm definitely worried about Rick Schneider, who's got Z type stats. And then Wembley looks like a super contact specialist with three home runs. And obviously we uh, just suck currently because the game's fixing our uh, pitchers by giving all of them just one devastating loss to uh, fix their e ERA and stuff. Get Chan back in there. So Feline Chan Dingers. Buck Swiner. Figueroa. He's playing well. Stokes. I'm going to save Donovan for the uh, playoffs. And why are they wearing their... Okay, it changed their uniform. American rates. Motors. Keep it American. Uh, All right, we're at home. We are taking on the Prague Moon Stars. We need something from this game. We need to bounce back, feel like a team. They have a lot of players. They're speed demons. We're defensive experts. Rod Forth, Rick Snyder, and Wembley. Two viewers coming up here in the first inning. Air Lovestone will take them on. And we bounce back after our last game travesty. travesty. Rod Forth, 253 average, one home run. The answer on the first pitch so far is no. Now batting the center fielder, number 11, Rick Snyder. Here's Rick Snyder. Looks scary. Oh, lethal. that didn't count as a catch? Lethal stops the ball, keeps the runner. Here's Wembley. I think Wembley just barked at us. 262 average, three home runs. That is popped way up. Lovestone makes the catch, two away. Here's Grunt Manley. Manly. He's locked in. He's got a 339 average, seven home runs. It's a base hit. That may bring in a run. It is going to bring in a run. One nothing already, Moon Stars. And John Stiffbottom steps up. 291 average, three home runs. Damian Rush on the move. Makes the catch. Woo! Lethal Deep Feline. Grisha Chan Rip Dingers coming up. He'll take strike one. That is through, and lethal is on. Lead off base hit. Decent Chan, 405 average, two home runs. Lethal getting a big lead off over there. And that is a base hit, so two on. No outs. Here comes Rip Dingers up.
Broken bat. And a double play, a 4-6-3. Funny how that's happened so often. Lethal does get the third. And that's going to be an out. And the run will not count. So it stays one nothing. We go to the second. Mario Mustachio, Lucas Robertson, and Chili Murphy. They just play taps. Mario Mustachio. They did get his mustache like a little bit better in this one. 310 average, three home runs. Be 0 and 2 in the count. Got him swinging. There we go. Air. That's what we need from some of our pitching staff. Lucas Roberts stepping up for the first time today. 225 average, three home runs. Buckswiner calls for it. Do away. Chili Murphy, 219, five home runs, 13 RBIs. Let air sneeze on that ball, get some good snot on it. Get hard. The buck is on the prowl. Good inning. Good inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Figueroa, Stokes, and Damian Rush coming up here. Figueroa, 372 average, one home run. Big ball one from Keller. 2 0. 3 0. We're just going to watch this one. Another hard hit, but he didn't put enough in that one. All right, Sirens, pitcher showed some energy, showed some support. That's right, Shaman. Annabella Stokes. 357, zero home runs, eight RBIs. Hard hit ball, Mustachio, but I think she's going to outrun that. She's on with a hustle hit. Damian Rush. Oh, I thought we killed him. So two on, one out. Grizz steps in. Come on, Grizz. We need a veteran hit right here. It's not what I needed, and there's no way we can out throw or outrun Rick Snyder's shoot. Air Lovestone, the pitcher, steps up. Two on. She's going to go opposite field. She's going to bring in a run. She's going to help her own cause. It's all tied up one apiece. That was the most beautiful hit I've seen in a while. Lethal steps up here. Oh, and Keller bags it so cleanly. We go to the third. It is all tied up 1-1. Keller will come up the bat first. Rod Forth, Rick Snyder do up after that. Now batting the pitcher, number 24, Ethan Keller. Bad pitch. Now back. Odd fourth already a double today. It's popped up. Are you kidding me, game? We got the force out at second, but even the computer couldn't catch that. 
Well, I was trying to sneak that in there, Lethal, so you wouldn't catch it. Oh, come on up! Chan, make that catch. Runner will advance the third. Two outs, though. Wembley steps up. And Wembley's going to knock in the go ahead run. Now batting the third baseman, number 12, Runt Manley. I think the game just gave us a little bit when we went up to 80 in pitching and then it was just like, oh yeah, here, here's really what happens. He swung so hard on that. Or it was even there. And like they're swinging so far ahead of it, but yet they still get the contact on it. Great pitch. 2 1. We go to the bottom of the third. Chan Dingers and Buck Swiner do up. But I mean, if you watch the animation, the bat is already through. Then the pitch gets there and they still get a hit. Been down for that one, and that's going to be a blue pit. So they got Wembley in left and Rick in center. Here's Rip Dingers. He's 0 for 1 today. I'd love to see him wake up here. Wembley. Oh, God, Wembley. Don't you do it. Wembley did it. Two outs. That was a nice little, what, 7-3 double play? That's going to be an out. Uh, we go to the fourth. Still 2-1. Moonstars leading this one. Stiff bottom of Stasio Robertson. Man, the bottom of our... Uh, Schedule is uh, just teams varying for being for the playoff. You don't get any calls here. Leadoff single for the Moon Stars. Now back, the shortstop, number 29, Mario Mustachio. Yes, the strike them out, throw them out. Let's go. That was a big defensive play there. And that was Grizz who threw that. Let's go. It's popped up. Figaro should have it. And he does. We'll go to the bottom of the fourth. Good inning there. Figueroa, Stokes, and Damian Rush do up. Ethan Keller doing well today. He's given up six hits, but not really anything else besides the one run. Figueroa batting 369. Dang, she looked fine. Sock it to me, sock it to me one more time.
Hard hit, but right at Snyder. And I bring up Stokes. Oh, Mustachio! Here's the difference, if you know. I, I know I raised the pitching up a little bit, but the defense of these teams we played here lately has been remarkable. And a lot of it's been user-created people. We go to the fifth, no dice that inning. Murphy, Keller, and fourth, the turn of the order. Now batting, catcher number 19, Chili Murphy. Chili Murphy. Come on. We'll take that. Round ball. One away. Pitcher Ethan Keller comes up. Ethan Keller. Fully expect the hit from the pitcher. I mean, he hit the ball, but no dice from it. Gotta bring up Rod Forth. He's already one for two today. Figueroa does not make the play. And that brings up the ever dangerous S tier Rick Snyder, who is 0 for 2 today, and that terrifies me. Now they got a runner in scoring position. It won't matter. Stokes is there. She got all three outs that inning. Let's go. Bottom of the fifth. Senoro, Lovestone, and Lethal D do up. Let's get some offense going, gang. Round ball right to first base. Stiff bottom handles it with ease. That brings up the pitcher, Lovestone. She knocked in the only run of the day. Nobody on base today or right now to do that. You know what you did was wrong, but the question is, how are you going to make things right? Up high for that one. Hard hit ball, but right to Grunt Manley, and that's going to be out number two. Uh, Stevie D, thank you for the follow. Appreciate that. Great name, by the way. So stop me if you've heard this before. Lethal steps up with two outs. And Lucas Robertson snags that one out of the air for out number three. We go to the sixth. Wembley going to lead off. Grant Manley, John Stiffbottom. Now batter, the left fielder, number 82. Wembley already knocked in a run today. She growls at us. Stokes. Once again, called upon. Third baseman, number two. Insert Bernie Sanders meme. I'm once again calling upon you for a routine ground ball. Grant Manley. Two pitch misses the target. Two two, got him swinging. Lovestone tells him to go sit down, and that'll bring up John Stiffbottom. John Stiffbottom. I'm back. It's zero and two. Not through a curveball in a while. Got him. Throw down the first in time, and that will take us to the bottom of the sixth. 
Great inning by Lovestone there. Chan, Dingers, and Swiner do up. We've got to get our big guys hitting here. We can't be playing like crap heading into the playoffs. Reese and Chan is two for two today. That's a hard hit ball. Chan Chan, he's our man. He'll get on base for Rip Dingers, leading the lead in homers, but he does them in spurts. And he starts spurting here. He will not. He'll strike out on a fastball. <clears throat> Buck Swiner, 0 for 2. Guys will say get back. I, there's no way they're not going to catch that one. Figueroa steps up. Two outs now. There's another base hit. That was just a practice pitch there. Annabella Stokes, she's one for two. A good base hit could bring in a run. Come on, Annabella. She strikes out. I thought that second one was going to drop. It did not. We go to the seventh. Mustachio, Robertson, and Murphy. They're looking for their first hits of the day. The shortstop. Number 29, Mario Mustachio. That's terrible pitch. Got lucky on that one. The second base. Robertson steps up. Lucas Robertson. Not sure what I was even throwing there. Okay, Lovestone, you need to calm your titties down. You know, to go from 3-0 uh, to that, I will take it. Two outs. Chili Murphy. Number 19, Chili Murphy. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to call for it. Good two pitch. Ground ball. Figueroa should have it. We'll go to the bottom of the seventh. Crowd's going to stretch. Mentally, I'm going to try. Damian Rush, Senoro, and Air Lovestone do up. Depending if anybody gets on base, we may have to make some changes. Hard hit, but foul. Little chopper. Mustachio in time. Senoro steps up, 0 for 2. There's those veteran hits when you need them. Mustachio going to handle that one. Not a veteran hit that I needed. Here's Lovestone. She's locked in and juiced. I would love if she could just ding it. Didn't ding it, but she'll get a base hit with two outs. And that brings up Lethal with two outs.
And that's probably a pop-up to Wembley. And it is. Oh, we're running out of innings. We go to the eighth. Keller, fourth, and Snyder do up. We'll see if they leave the pitcher in. They do. Frozen! Like Elza. Rod Forth, two for three today. That's it. Chan charges forward and makes the catch. AC36, I know that's your favorite. Here's an 0 for 3 Rick Snyder, which makes my stomach hurt. One two pitch. How's it back? Come on, air, get him. Yes! Let's go! Bottom of the eighth, Chan Dingers and Swiner. Come on, guys, especially you bottom two. It's like you can taste the tire. She's doing everything she can. We're just not giving her any run support. We've not changed the hitting ego for ages. Edoya coming in. That's hit hard, but right the freaking Snyder. Come on, Rip. One swing and you can change this whole game. Didn't get enough. Two outs. The left fielder, number 58, Buck Swiner. Swiner's tense. Another broken bat. I really feel like broken bats are just the game's way of just nerfing your hits. We go to the ninth. Wembley, Manley, and Stiff Bottom. The left fielder, number 82. That's hard hit. And that's a home run by Wembley. Fourth home run of the year makes it 3 1. Wembley may have just put it out of uh, reach. I was debating taking air out. But she had been doing so well. Nice pitch. I mean, yeah, she's made a couple of mistakes, but we have not done anything batting-wise to help her. Great throw by Figueroa. Here's Mustachio. He's 0 for 3 today. I gave him one right down the middle. She totally just lost that one. That was a dirty fork ball. Uh, and there there you go again. Bottom of the ninth. She's pitched like that all day, and we just not give her run support. Now in the game, Joseph Trunk coming in, which makes me worry about... <laughs> playoffs. There's a base hit. Good single there. So... We need to get a couple on and score some runs, obviously. Annabella Stokes. They're going to bring in... Oh, Ethan Keller's done for the day. They're going to bring in Immaculo Spectaculo. 
So if we're going to win, it's going to have to be against a great pitcher. That's not how you get it done. Damien Rush. You know, of all people that really needs to hit a home run. That's not going to be it. Damian Rush has been my most lackluster player that we got all year. So we're going to bring in Jess Fowl. This one twice good, and now he's going to hit me with something. Something terrible. That's going to be just enough in the strike zone and end the game. Oh, we suffer losses back to back. Oh, Lovestone pitched such a good game. She did a complete game, but it's for a loss. She's getting the shaman treatment now. Three runs on seven hits for them. One run on ten for us. Snyder goes 0 for 4 but has been a monster defensively. Wembley, two for four, a home run, and two RBIs. Got to be up there for player of the game. Apologize. No, it's just being honest. You pitched really well in your games, but you never got run support. And then when you started getting wins, you were, um, you were literally uh, doing complete games. And again, hits all across the board. One for Lethal, three for Chan, two for Figueroa. Our big guys, Dingers and Swiner, did nothing. Lovestone, two for three. Sirens apologize to Wembley. What? <laughs> Keller picks up his third win and proves the three and four in the season. Eight innings, ten hits, one earned run, two strikeouts. Spectaculo gets the save, his fifth of the year. One inning, zero, 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 zero. Lovestone, a complete game loss. Seven hits, three earned runs, nine strikeouts. She didn't deserve it, but she gets it. And she's the player of the game over Wembley. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. That's the most embarrassing thing right there. Well, Wembley should be happy. Uh, oh, plus five loyalty. Sure, let's put Huck and Duck on there. <laughs> 25 computer games. Well, we'll have a lot of changes after this one. DC and New York, who's going to control the division? It looks like the Nemesis are going to come out and control. Heaters. Solidifying theirs. 8-4 win. Snow Foxes get a win. They improved to 500. Cape Town and Cyberbot. Cyberbot's trying to catch them. They don't. Cape Town extends their lead. Texarkana loses to Wyoming. That helps the hot corners. Ljubljana gets a win. Kyoto. Night Warriors, the Night Warriors take that. Grapplers win. Grapplers trying to stay in the playoff hunt. San Juan Sandcats get a win. Negative 40. There's another win for the Night Warriors. Tampico wins. Keeps the lead over Veracruz. The Moose get their 10th win over DC. And then the Crocs dominate Cape Town. So every team has double-digit wins finally. The Jacks come and beat the Overdogs. That helps us tremendously since we are on a two-game skid. Wyoming Wide Loads beat the Hot Corners. That helps the Sirloins. The Freebooters dominate the Lib Liberators. Soul drops another one, and they fall the, all the way to third. Kyoto loses. The teams that need to win right now are not winning. Ljubljana. Comes back and beats the Royals of London. Brisbane gets dominated. New York three games up on Florida now. 
The Prague Moonstars win. They go five games up over the Royals. Big jump there. Texarkana dominates, goes up two games. Starting to get tight here. Guadalajara. The Geckos lose. The Grapplers holding on to those playoff spots. Cobras drop one to San Juan. So right now, three-game lead for the Nemesis, two-game lead for the Sirloin, six-game lead for the Platagat Pie. We've got a four-and-a-half game lead. Laura Keats down four to the Penguins. Blowfish and Night Warriors trailing the heaters by three games. San Juan Sanket somehow in second now behind the Freebooters. And then the Moonstars five games back. Huck and Duck. Uh, Ethan Keller. Oh, so their starting pitcher they let go. And they went out and hired Olaf Slokoff. So Keller's reward for beating us is he got fired. Blossom Curry gets let go. They went from $3 million to $1 million. Joseph Brosif fired from the Ljubljana B-Wolves, signing Sky Romano, freeing up $8 million. Sturdy Woodman let go of the Florida Crocodons. Xander DeOrange. They saved about $4 million there. I'm not going to do that one, and the rest of them still. So the only games we have left are division games. So that sucks because we're going to be – it's going to be very, very tough. Four games left. Jack Brennan's on the overdogs, and nobody's on the herbosaurs. Yeah, all home games, but I'm still kind of worried about them. Like I said, the pitching, yeah, we've been giving up more runs. Well, actually, not really if you look at the thing. The 12-run game oddity, if you take that out, it's still about even. 2, 8, 3, 2, 1, 3, 0, 5. I mean, we're just not scoring. Look, Yeah, you can see what we went. 5, 4, 5, 13, 5, 5, 1. Six, six, three, and then one. Uh, maybe that's what got us. We invoked the uh, the wrath of uh, the power of the bees. He's unhappy with our three games in a row there with the runs. Um, who is um, the Jacks have? So they also play Hollywood when we do. No, we play the Overdogs and they play the Herbosaurs. And then we play the Overdogs and I'm going to guess they play... No, Tucson goes to the Royals. Who does the Jacks play? Am I just missing them here? Oh, they play Ljubljana. So that's weird that Unless they must have just played right before us. Or maybe I'm further down than I thought. No, I'm not. They only have two games left? You got Hollywood. 
And then the Beowulf, is that it? Oh, it's the overdogs I need to be worried about. The overdogs could flip us. With four games left. Because two of them's head to head. There's your playoff picture. We would be playing the Wichita Wild Pigs right now.